I call the honourable member for Fairfax. My, my question is to the Prime Minister. Following re re revelations in the Senate in November that up to five members of Parliament's data are being accessed, are any crossbench members, including me, having their phones and their emails tapped or intercepted by any Commonwealth or state agency or any foreign government doing this to give the government plausible denial? Are our parliamentary officers bugged? I call the Honourable the Prime Minister. Well, Madam Speaker, I. We'll have, I, quiet, please. <laughs> we'll have some order, please, before the Prime Minister answers the question. Prime Minister. Madam Speaker, I, uh, I do uh, thank the member for Fairfax for his question and I congratulate him on his uh, recent election to this place. And, uh, I uh, hope that he and all members of his group can make a very constructive contribution to the deliberations of this particular parliament. Um, on the question that the uh, member has asked, um, it is the... <laughs> the Prime Minister will resume his seat. The member for Kennedy on a point of order. And I would say to the member for Kennedy, it better be a proper point of order. Can we have some order, please? Member for Kennedy. Madam Speaker, two weeks ago, they what had me in the, the Greens party. Order? Today, I'm in Clive's party. Please, the member Mr. Prime Minister, we are, his seat. we are. I call the member will resume his seat. I call the honourable the Prime Minister. Well, Madam Speaker, I, I would remind the member for Fairfax uh, and indeed his uh, uh, fellow uh, independent and minor party members uh, up there on the cross benches that it has never been the practice of any government in this country to comment on the specifics of operational intelligence matters. Uh, operational intelligence matters. Uh, I also uh, make the point to the member for Fairfax that no one's <coughs> phone can be uh, tapped, uh, no one's conversations uh, can be listened into uh, without a specific warrant, without a specific warrant. Uh, so our intelligence services, both here and abroad, operate under the very strictest of safeguards. Uh, first of all, there is the uh, Joint Parliamentary Committee uh, on Security and Intelligence and also, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, Madam Speaker, there is the Inspector General of Security and Intelligence. So I can assure the member for Fairfax that uh, he can speak in peace, so to speak, uh, without uh, any fear that anything untoward is going on.